aquellos programas que se destacan por su inglés. Honey, have you seen my blue tie? It's at the cleaners. You spilled on it, remember? Wear your green one. I thought I spilled on it. No, that was your blue one. No, the blue one's the one I spilled on. I just said that. Did you take it to the cleaners yet? Oh my God, he's not listening! The man who never listens starts Fridays in theaters everywhere. And now, tips from America's laid off workers. If you're getting laid off, make sure you know the difference between a severance package and package severance. I didn't. And now I gotta make water through a plastic sleeve. Going down in flames while blazing the path. Laid off workers, speak out! How you doing? Schmitty here. So glad you could make it. This was at the top of my to-do list. Now, shall we see if you've been paying attention? So, what's it gonna be? Well, what do we have here? I think the Last Supper is coming up on me. This one's worth four thousand bucks. Well, let's see. New Yorkers are generally considered to be the epitome of rude behavior. So tell me. Which piece of artwork did New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani find rude? A portrait of Mother Teresa mocking a leper. A sculpture of Gandhi with an erection. A tampon bust of Martin Luther King, or an elephant dung painting of the Virgin Mary. Oops, no time left. Here's the right answer. Elephant dung painting of the Virgin Mary that appeared in the Brooklyn Museum of Art created quite a stir with the mayor. Although most of the art community just poo-pooed his complaints. Wanna pick a category? This category is nice going. Let's move on. Looks like this one's going for two thousand bucks. Yep, you got it. Nam Rapus. Who am Brainiac look like? Who am Bizarro look like? Who am Lex Luthor's brother? Or who am born in Argo City? <laughs> Here's your question. All right, get ready. Time to choose a category. Hey, stress cut with lime sore. It's time for a Inglater Fast Pass Man. Let's see if you can make sense of this category. Give me your poor, your sarcastic ballpark urinals. The opening value for this question is going to be ten thousand big ones. Okay, now as soon as you figured out what this gibberish phrase rhymes with, buzz in, 'cause the more time you take, the less cash you get. Okay, buzz in and start typing when you know what this rhymes with. A catcher full of whiz. Hey, fun! If you want it, you got it. Type in the answer. And... <laughs> yes, that is the proud day when immigrants prove for certain that they know more about American history than any American does. Time to select a category. Here's a little something I call Berlitz for coffee drinkers. We're talking six grand here, so pay attention. Let's suppose that during your around-the-world trip, disaster strikes. You crash land in an Italian village. Since the only Italian you know was learned at Starbucks, you shout "Venti, Venti!" What will the angry Italian villagers think you're saying? You're sorry about the broken barrel. Venti is Italian for twenty. It's probably got something to do with the number of ounces in Starbucks' largest coffee size. Of course, that's not nearly as embarrassing as discovering that frappuccino means "I shall now touch your daughter's buttocks." So, what's it gonna be? The category. Dig that crazy beat, man! And you pocket four thousand bucks if you get this one right. 
Okay, now, you know that scat singers do that whole, you know, doobity wop wop dweeb do jazzy thing, right? Well then, considering what scat is, which of these would be an example of someone singing scat? Scat is a dinner party way of saying excrement. You know, poo poo. <laughs> Although I always thought scat music was kind of crappy. <laughs> Tell me which category you want. Let's see what we got going. She blinded me with remedial science. How does $4,000 sound? Let's see how you handle this one. If bands at a charity concert were to perform according to the order of colors in a rainbow, who would follow Green Day? Indigo Girls, Blue Oyster Cult, Red Hot Chili Peppers, or Black Sabbath? And now, Roy G. Bim! The colors of a rainbow go red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, and then freebird. Time to make a choice. Welcome to the Jack Attack. You should already know all about the Jack Attack. Let's not waste any more time. Need a clue? What is your mood ring telling you? I'm in the mood for a jack attack. game. Excellent work. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Of course, I would never play by myself because I have better things to do with my time. Now listen, I wouldn't say this to you if I didn't mean it. You don't know Jack! today, huh? Well, don't worry. I'm gonna harass you so much, it'll be like having an annoying little sidekick right there next to you. All right, let's do it. Go ahead, pick a category. For your viewing pleasure, crawling back tipsy to my baby. Four thousand bucks if you get this. Hey, have you ever been on a pub crawl? You know, where you basically go from bar to bar. How that differs from a regular night of drinking, I'll never know. Anywho, if a blues musician were to organize a pub crawl that followed the usual progression of a blues song, how many bars would he visit that night? Four, eight, ten, or twelve? No, after four bars, a blues musician is just warming up. Let me show you what I would have picked. The chord progression of a blues song is usually 12 bars long, hence the term 12 bar blues. And after 12 bars, you stand a pretty good chance of finding yourself passed out in some muddy waters. Pick a category. 
Let's have a big warm welcome for How Can It Be Wrong When It Feels So Copyright? This one can net you four grand. Well, I realize I sound like my father when I say it, but today's music is all just screaming. Scream, scream, scream. That's all the kids do. Say you and your friends record a bunch of screaming and release it as an album. Which of these could you, punks, can't copyright album titles? Yeah, that's fortunate, too, because I hear that Wright said Fred is attempting a comeback with a new album titled The Beatles' Greatest Hits. How about picking a category? Shake hands with I'd like some beef, jerky. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Okay, free your mind. Suppose travelers could only stop at gas stations if they resemble the station's logo. Which pair would you be most likely to run into at a mobile? Grizzly Adams and Gentle Ben, King Arthur and Sir Lancelot, Perseus. That's good. Pegasus is the winged horse on mobile's logo. I hope that he and Perseus get their beef jerky and wiper fluid for, you know, half price at least. Go ahead and pick one of these. Up next, starring Dennis Hopper, Peter Fonda, and Wilbur. This one's worth 2,000 simoleons. Now, I've probably mentioned how the slang term for a Harley Davidson is a hog, right? Good, because... If the Hells Angels motorcycle gang wanted to begin riding actual hogs, which state would provide them with the most makes and models? Rhode Island, Iowa, North Dakota, or Colorado? My good friends in Iowa have more pigs than anyone. Heck, they got more pigs than people. All right, men. Tonight, we ride. Let's go. How about picking a category? How did you know this question was a diss or dat? This diss or dat category name is... Put some lotion on his back, Dano. Okay, I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you have got to tell me if it's the title of an actual cop TV show or a brand of tanning lotion. As I... Hey, I'm ready if you are. Give me 30 seconds on that clock. Let the games begin. Quantum Force, hot action. Cop show or tan... Acapulco heat. Island heat, quad action. Bodies of evidence. Wicked Ray's hot action. Dark just Last one. Strike. Hey, good work. You only missed one. That's nothing to feel bad about. Let's look at your new total. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that wasn't half bad. Go ahead and pick one of these. Well, what do we have here? Hot time in the old barn tonight. Pay attention, because this one's worth $6,000. Hope you're hungry. It's question time. If William Hurt's character in the film Body Heat needed even more body heat to satisfy him, which of the following would give him the most pleasure? An opossum, a duck, a sheep, or a pig? Time flies, don't it? I could have given you some cash if you picked this one. At 107.8 degrees Fahrenheit, a duck will give him the hottest animal action. But you better be careful because a duck will just love you and leave you. That's just the way of the duck. Take it from a guy who knows. Time to make a choice. Welcome to the Jack Attack. Now, you know all about this. Let's not waste any more time. Need a clue? Just what kind of man are you singing about? I know, it's only rock and roll, but I like it.
playing with yourself can be so rewarding. You see, this is how those dirty, bad, filthy habits start. Now lean back, close your eyes, and say... You don't know Jack! Welcome to You Don't... Oh, it's just you. Okay, put down the instruction manual. It's time to get started. Go ahead, pick a category. Coming at you. The FDA does not approve of PDA. Let's go $2,000 for this one. Yeah, let's see here. Headline, comics, Oh, my God. Get this. The world's heaviest woman... 800 pounds had a baby with world's heaviest man 900 pounds if the headline said fat family is actual ton of fun would the baby weigh 100 pounds 200 pounds 300 pounds or dear lord 400 a ton of fun would be 2,000 pounds of loving family <laughs> but otherwise the article makes them out to be a pretty normal family pta members suburban house oh my god these people have never seen the sopranos Freaks! Burn them! Wanna pick a category? Hey, I know. How about how to avoid getting screwed at the drive-thru? Better wake up, because there's 6,000 bucks at stake here. Okay, then. Let's rock. If the drive-thru at the local Jack in the Box had a blue box installed in it, what could you do in addition to ordering a jumbo Jack with cheese? Play some Appalachian tunes. A blue box is a device that allows you to make long-distance calls without the phone registering those calls. That's a jumbo jack with cheese and a Coke. Is there anything else you'd like? Yeah, could you uh, put my call through, please? Acapulco Beachside, who is this? Pick a category. Your category is going to be Red Rover, Red Rover, let a monsoon come over. Looks like this one's going for 2,000 bucks. Ready? Catch this. If a giant game of Twister determined where tornadoes strike, which of these spins would have come up least often? Left foot, Oklahoma. Of these four states, Hawaii has been hit with the fewest tornadoes. However, Hawaii does surpass all other states in annual I Got Laid jokes. Time to choose a category. What in the... I can't read this. On the ground, Christian. Let's take a look at your category. Liar, liar, chocolate pants on fire. We're going to start this question out at $10,000. When you know what the answer is, buzz in and type it out. And listen to me, spelling counts. Oh, and not to put any more pressure on you, but the quicker you buzz in, the more cash you can make. So, unscramble this phrase and start typing when you think you know the answer. Fudge liar. It's all yours. And just remember, kids, although it seems cool on TV to be a 42-year-old lifeguard, your parents probably won't appreciate the same vocational choice. So, what's it going to be? Open wide and get ready for political mad scientists. And you pocket 4000 bucks if you get this one right. Okay, let's go. If crazed political scientists in 2090 were to clone a new candidate from the U.S. presidents who served in 1790, 1890, and 1990, what super president would you see running for office? Calvin Quincy Cool Clint, Teddy Grover Regenvelt, Abraham Benjamin Harabush, or George William Mitt Bushington? I don't know about you, but just having to say the word Harabush makes me feel all itchy. <laughs> Here's the one the winners pick. In the future, we will have an Uber clone of George Washington, William McKinley, and George Bush. 
And his superpowers? Well, he won't be able to tell a lie, he can stop a bullet with his head, and he can vomit at will on unsuspecting prime ministers. Tell me which category you want. I'm calling this one 30 Lashes with Kojak's Lollipop. And this baby's worth 6,000 big ones. Let's do it. Which character would have had the appropriate trademark accessory if called in to punish vandalizing teen Michael Fay? How you doing, Mike? On May 5th, 1994, Mr. Peanut, the Norse god Thor, Elmer Fudd, or Charlie Brown's friend Linus? Lil Mikey Fay was the American teenager who was sentenced to four lashes with a cane in Singapore. And, of course, the debonair Mr. Peanut always carries a cane. <laughs> Although I'd imagine getting your ass whooped by a peanut would be humiliation enough. Time to select a category. You are about to embark upon the attack. You should already know all about the jack attack. Heads up, here is your clue. That bus is always so noisy. All right, kids, time to sing along. game. Way to go, my friend. Like I always say, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose as long as you get to play with yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer, will ya? Because... You don't know Jack! Yo! This is it. You don't know Jack. I'm glad to see you had nothing more productive to do than sit and play a computer game by yourself. Well, to each their own, I guess. Are there any questions? Too bad. Time to begin. Time to select a category. This one's called Football is My Bread and Butter. How does $4,000 sound? Hey, you know how professional athletes are always saying that they're not role models? Well... Considering their names, which of these NFL players would not be considered a role model? Defensive back Jason Kaiser, wide receiver Greg Yeast, tight end Howard Cross, or tight end Rufus French. Howard Cross is not a role model. He's a bun model. Why else do you think he plays tight end? Time to choose a category. This category is Dear Forum. I'm a rabbit on a small biblical ark. Four thousand bucks if you get this. Put it in gear, cause here we go. During Noah's voyage at sea, which of his sexy animals would have been able to mate and become a daddy the fastest? The cute ass, the sheepish sheep, the wild stallion, or the sly fox? 
Tough luck. For the curious, here's the right answer. 52 days, baby. That's all the time my man the fox needs to operate, which leaves just enough time for the fox to become jealous of the baby, feel alienated from his wife, buy a sports car, and start a friendship with the panda a few stalls down. Tell me which category you want. This category is known as the jet stream has defeated me. Give me a correct answer, I'll give you six grand. Do you remember back when they told us that everything that happened in the world was pretty much caused by El Nino? Yeah, well, if you finally admit that you are powerless over El Nino and that your life has become unmanageable, what are you most likely doing? Beginning a 12-step program, admitting to your seasonal affective disorder, entering a plea of insanity, or applying for a grant from the government. Seasonal affective disorder simply means you've got the winter blues. And if that's the case, may I prescribe a 12-pack and a couple of old country albums? <laughs> well, that'll make an exciting story, won't it? The first step of a 12-step program is, hold my hand, admitting you have no power over your problem and that your life has become unmanageable. Uh, hi, my name is Willard, and uh, I, I'm powerless over El Nino. Hi, Willard! How about picking a category? Get yourself ready for Jeepers Creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? This one's worth $6,000. Flex those fingers, because here it comes. If you're being spied upon by a spring peeper, what's gawking at you? A flower, a frog. A spring peeper is a little tree frog. Yeah, it's got a really interesting call, too. Sounds a little something like this. Hey, baby. Show me the goods. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, pick a category. Well, if it isn't my old friend. Uh, thanks. I'll just have the salad. This one's going to be worth... Uh, twenty-six thousand six hundred six dollars and six cents, huh? You know, if you filter out the piratey babble and the strange, spooky reverb, the music is actually pretty catchy. I wonder where somebody might get a CD or something like that. Hmm. Oh well. Well, well. Looks like someone's got their pants all in a bundle. Well, hey, you got it. How the hell did you know Salama Gundy? You guessed, didn't you? There's no way you would know that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get down with these funky jams. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Arg maybe. Arg maybe. Arg maybe. Yeah. Want to pick a category? Okay, give it up for... Peanut butter and vicious creature of death sandwich. Give me a correct answer, I'll give you six grand. Pencils ready, let's do it. Which of the following is not a monster found in the game Dungeons and Dragons? Violet sludge, gray ooze, ochre, jelly, or gelatinous cube? There's no violet sludge in the game, but there are such things as gray ooze, ochre, jelly, and gelatinous cube. And they all attack you from your bagel. Evil, evil bagels. Pick a category. Welcome to the Jack Attack. Now you should already know all about this. All you need is to get a clue. Rhymes with chunt. Get your mind out of the gutter and your finger on your buzzer.
right home about, but not too shabby. Let's see your score. There it is. Excellent work. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Of course, I would never play by myself because I have better things to do with my time. Now listen, I wouldn't say this to you if I didn't mean it. You don't know Jack! Welcome to You Don't Know Jack. Just me and you this time around, huh? Hey, what does that say that nobody else wanted to hang out with you? Damn, what does it say about me? Okay, boot camp's over. Time for battle. Time to make a choice. May I introduce... Excuse me, I need to powder my gun. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. So, the Korean War took place in the 1950s, and so did a lot of innovation in women's fashion. Hmm, coincidence? Say that the troops in Korea were low on supplies. Which actual 50s item could they use in a pinch? A bullet bra, a hold-your-fire girdle, only my mouth is red. Back in the 50s, Maiden Form came out with the Chansonne bra, better known as the bullet bra. I understand another very popular product during the period was the revolving cylinder jock strap. Yep, nobody could ever claim our boys were shooting blanks. Go ahead and pick one of these. Here we have Vegan Do Whatever We Want. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. Oh, so you're not a meat eater, huh? Probably one of them vegetarian hippie tree huggers. Well, given their maximum diameters, which of the following trees could you most easily hug? That randy redwood, that sexy sequoia, that sassy sassafras, or that beautiful birch? Oh, baby, rub against that sequoia for the smoky rasp of love. <laughs> Take a look at this. Most of the trees in the birch family have diameters within two feet, so they're easily huggable. Just be sure you protect yourself. You don't know if that birch has been hanging around with any of those Dutch elms. So, what's it gonna be? For your enjoyment, PDAAA, knock it off! This one can net you four grand. Well, I guess it's no mystery that PDA stands for Public Display of Affection, right? Right. Well, if you're engaged in a PDA with your PDA, what are you probably doing? Stroking your vial of palladium, kissing your palm pilot, hugging your minivan, or goosing your boss. Technological marvels like the Palm Pilot are known as personal digital assistants, or as the rich kids call them, PDAs. <laughs> but remember, while you're kissing your Palm Pilot, somewhere deep in your coat pocket, your cell phone's heart is softly breaking. Go ahead, pick a category. Let's take a look at Psychiatry 101. Patty Cake, Patty Cake. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. One question coming right up. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're sad and you know it, what should you do? Get some sunlight, go to sleep, eat some cheese, or have an operation. Sad is seasonal affective disorder, and you know it. So, if you want to cheer yourself up, go sunbathing. If you want to depress the neighbors, go nude sunbathing. Tell me which category you want. Yeah, chest strut fits dime whore. It's time for a... Deliver box past Your category for today is Spice Girl Table Dances. 
right out of the gate, this one's gonna be worth ten grand. Okay, as soon as you've figured out what this gibberish phrase rhymes with, buzz in, because I'll be taking away some cash every second and a half. All right, then, buzz in and type when you know the landmark that rhymes with this phrase. Posh, sing fun on ya, gent. Yeah, do it. Start typing this. Boy, if only they'd build a giant Dunkin' Donuts statue nearby, we'd have the largest Freudian image in the world. Go U.S. Go ahead and pick one of these. Allow me to introduce. It ain't over till the fat lady stares at you. We're talking six grand here, so pay attention. Say, don't you just hate going to some snooty play and then clapping at the wrong time during the performance? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Which of these would be the best time during a play for you to do all your hooting and hollering and carrying on during the entr'acte, during the epilogue, during the epitasis, or during the exeunt? Caught you watching the paint dry. Ah,、oh, I can't take you anywhere. The entr'acte is the space between the acts, but be warned there might be music during this portion, so keep it short.、And、would you please get your feet off the chair in front of you? Time to choose a category. Well, you made it to the jack attack. You should already know how this works, so let's get right to it. Here's your clue: eight life grand. Well, have mercy! You annihilated that attack. Let's check out what it did to your score. That's the game. Hey, way to go! Who knew that playing with yourself could be so rewarding? You see, this is how those dirty, bad, filthy habits start. Now, lean back, close your eyes, and say. Is you don't know Jack. I'm Schmitty, and you are playing by yourself. Don't worry, nothing to be ashamed of. I've tried it, and we're off. How about picking a category? We call this one Boing Boing Snap, and you pocket four thousand bucks if you get this one right. Hey kids, it's Howdy Doody time. Your big plan is to break some bed springs on spr a mattress that's six feet wide and almost nine feet long. Damn, it ain't called the California King for nothing. <laughs> hey, and just think, if California falls off into the ocean, you'll have your own fully padded continent to float around on. So, what's it gonna be? This one's called. It's definitely a wee ticket ride. Get it right, I'm handing over four thousand bucks. And now your question. 
If it truly is a small world after all, then where should Pygmy Disney open? In the Philippines, in Central Africa, in Southern Bolivia, or in Papua New Guinea? My close personal friends, the Pygmies, live in Central Africa. You know, it really breaks my heart to imagine the pygmies standing in line for a ride, seeing the you must be this tall sign and shedding little pygmy tears. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't joke. Time to make a choice. Well, look what I found. The calm before the jello shots. Four thousand bucks if you get this. Hey, you know that popular Mardi Gras drink, the Hurricane, right? Yeah, woo-woo! <laughs> I just flashed you my breasts. Um, anyway, which of these would you most likely hear from a news correspondent reporting from your liver after it just got hit with yet another hurricane? We've got violent rum storms down here. The worst of the whiskey is on... I'm caught in a rum deluge. <laughs> deluge. <laughs> Whee! My close personal friends, hurricanes, are made with rum. And usually the storm gets even more violent on its way back up. Wanna pick a category? Okay, flesh nut slit slime snore. It's time for a... Liver fresh best shot. Grab hold of this category. Does this leotard make me look tough? The opening value for this one is $10,000. Okay, I'm going to show you a gibberish phrase. You figure out what it rhymes with and buzz in. The faster you move, the more cash you make. All right, get those fingers ready for some typing, won't you? I'd like you to take a look at this phrase and tell me what it rhymes with. Okay. Uh, new tights, Ned? Bring some. Make me proud, type. Bravo, jolly good show, what, what? Deciphering those three entirely different words. Goodness, you must be the President of America, or some such. Time to select a category. And I believe this one's called, Keep the Cheesecake Off the Beefcake. This one's worth $6,000. All right, let's face it. The Internet has something for every pervert out there. Hey, and if dirty pictures don't float your boat, how about pictures of filthy food? To which of these websites would an orthodox Jew go in search of dirty pictures? www.parva.com, www.hasidic.com, www.kosher.com, or www.trafe.com. According to Jewish dietary laws, anything that is unclean or unfit for eating is trafe. And in my humble opinion, there is nothing more arousing than naked scraps of pork. Pick a category. The category is... Ah, Bologna. How does $4,000 sound? Okay, see if you can figure out this analogy. My baloney is to first name as Bologna, Italy. According to the jingle, my baloney has a first name, and Bologna, Italy has the first university. Yes, and for years they had a very intense rivalry with the prestigious University of Pastrami on Rye. Time to choose a category. You're almost through, but first, the attack. You should already know how this works. Let's not waste any more time. Need a clue? I wonder where that wonder is. Time to put on your wondering caps.
Let's check out your final score. There it is. Wow, that was an intense game. That was really thrilling. You were by far the best player we had. Now do me a favor. Look to your left. Now look to your right and repeat after me. You don't know Jack! Hi there, this is You Don't Know Jack, and I'm Schmitty, and I am here all for you, just for you, because apparently you couldn't find anybody else to hang out with. Now, shall we see if you've been paying attention? Tell me which category you want. Your category is, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Bet Midler. This one can net you four grand. Say, did you ever know that you're my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. That I can fly higher than an eagle because you are the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. If you really lift me up by being the wind beneath my wings, what effect are you having on me? The Bernoulli effect, the Coriolis effect, the Doppler effect, or the Faraday effect? Your Bernoulli effect inspires me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for you. The wind beneath my wings that creates lift due to the difference in pressure from that wind which is above my wings. Time to select a category. Let's take a look at Hats Entertainment. Pay attention because this one's worth $6,000. All right, tuck it in. We're moving. Which of these is not an actual place where you can hang your hat? Fedora, Italy, Fez, Morocco, Derby, England, or Sombrero, West Indies? There is a Sombrero. I know, you'd think it'd be in Mexico, but it's not. Isn't this game fun? <laughs> Should have picked this one. Travel all you want to. You ain't gonna find a fedora in Italy. But I'll tell you, you won't believe what they put on their heads in Jacques Strap, France. So, what's it gonna be? Well, what do we have here? It's a relationship. Run for your life. Get it right, I'm handing over 4,000 bucks. Forward, march. If a prospective groom says he has a fear of the commitments, of what is he afraid? An Irish soul band, an American bluegrass band, an Australian funk band, or a Canadian heavy metal band? The Commitments is the fictional Irish soul band that appeared in the movie of the same name. I believe their biggest hit was, Things are great as they are, why do we have to go and change everything? Time to make a choice. Let's see what we got going. The Country Doctor and his two-way mirror. $2,000 at stake on this one. Hey, do you remember pop star Rockwell and his big 80s hit, Somebody's Watching Me? Um, anyway. If Rockwell felt that Norman Rockwell's drawings were watching him, what would he most like? Illustrator Norman Rockwell's most famous pieces appeared on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. Rockwell's most famous piece appeared on KTEL's Feet Under the Curtains, Best of Paranoid Rock from 1984, Volume 3. Go ahead, pick a category. Oh, look what this is. It's time for a... Inglater first, first man. Let's call this one... Don't put that in your mouth. The starting amount for this one is $10,000. Okay, I'll be giving you a gibberish phrase. Simply buzz in when you know what it rhymes with. And by the way, I'll be taking away some cash every couple of seconds, so make it quick. 
Okay, see if you can figure out the name in this gibberish phrase. Cal fed me goo, Jan. Let's see what you got. <laughs> and of course, we all know that after Alfred E. Newman left Mad Magazine, he moved to New York, got his own talk show, and changed his name to David Letterman. Wanna pick a category? This category is Let Me See Your Facets, Baby. How does four thousand dollars sound? Open wide. Which of these exotic dancer gemstones would have the hardest body? The sensuous jade, the voluptuous lapis lazuli, the stunning sapphire, or the gorgeous amber? No, amber is actually kind of soft. She could stand to lose a few carrots, if you know what I'm saying. <coughs> okay, now here's a good answer. Sapphire is one little hard body. Why she's a nine on the mineral hardness scale? Yeah, I know, but to you she's a perfect ten, and she really likes you 'cause you're so different from all the others. Go ahead and pick one of these. All rise. The Jack Attack is now in session. Now you should already know all about this. All you need is to get a clue. Who's number one? Present company excluded, of course. Yourself. Now get the hell away from the computer, will ya? Because you don't know Jack. Yo ho, yo ho. Ah, very close. Ah, very close. Ah, I'm a bear, right? Yo. All your it? Well, I guess I have the time. Okay, take your seats, please. It's time for liftoff. Pick a category. Shake hands with. I wear a size K9. And you pocket four thousand bucks if you get this one right. Hey, you want to know what my favorite part of going to the mall is? The pet shop. How much of a survival chance for that rabid doggy in the window? About 25% if he's quarantined. Once clinical signs have developed, there's not much you can do for that cute little puppy. <laughs> Besides, you know that bitch is just gonna foam and convulse all over your new love seat. How about picking a category? Get yourself ready for Incontinental Congress. Four thousand bucks if you get this. Oh, the Fourth of July picnic. A picture of Americana. And as sticklers for accuracy know, a total lie. As a stickler for accuracy, you save your Fourth of July picnic food until the day on which Congress actually began signing the formal Declaration of Independence. Would you be eating two-day-old hot dogs, month-old potato salad, three-month-old apple pie, or year-old watermelon? Huh? Huh?
You snooze, you lose. Hey, if you got a minute, take a look at this. The Continental Congress approved the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776, but only began formally signing it on August 2nd. After you eat your month-old potato salad, however, your innards will secede from your body more or less right away. Time to select a category. Open wide and get ready for a beer and a 1,000-pound man, please. And this baby's worth 6,000 big ones. Okay, here's what freaks me out. That guy with the crazy fingernails in the Guinness Book of World Records, they curl. I mean, some of that stuff in there is just weird. Like this. What would be the record for the earliest record recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records? 1935, 1945, 1955, or 1965? Sweet dreams. <laughs> well, no records are being set here, are they? Before then, your only recognition for being unique was the ridicule you'd receive from friends, family, and passers-by. <laughs> Time to choose a cat. The category, sincerely, Miss Hotty Pants. This one's worth 4,000 bucks. See what you can do with this one. If you wrote a letter to Penthouse Forum using standard block style, which of these would be most appropriate to do with your name? Put Horny in Harrisburg in italics. Place Monin in Montana, flush left, indent wet in Wichita, two spaces, or center lubed in Louisiana above the date. Too late. You want to see what the smart money says? Block style is the standard business style in which all information is typed flush left. Billy, how many times have I told you that's not the proper way to use a colon? Pick a category. Well done. You've just chosen a dis or dat. The category for this dis or dat question is, wow, my very own Don Ho trading card. Now, I'm going to read off a list of seven words, and for each one, you ought to tell me if it's a Hawaiian word or a Pokemon character. As I rattle them off, well, someone's done this before, here's your 30 seconds. Let's do it. Pikachu, Hawaiian or Pokemon? Ahaku. Wiki Wiki. Drowsy. Licky Dung. Konohiki. One more. Kabuto. You got five out of seven. Are you happy with that? Let's look at your score. Well, take what you can get. So, what's it going to be? And I believe this one's called Kyle on Denzel. Better wake up, because there's 6,000 bucks at stake here. Okay, what I got here is a fill-in-the-blank question, which means you got to type your answer after you buzz in. You ready? If the NFL team, formerly known as the Titans, were to take the movie title Remember the Titans to heart, who would be thinking? Go on, do it! J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! But I don't want my football players to be nostalgic types. Then all the huddles turn into group hugs and... How about picking a category? Welcome to the Jack Attack. Now, you know all about this. So let's get right to it. Here's your clue. Sleep with a poodle and what'll you get? Well, I got three months probation. done a better job myself. Of course, I would never play by myself because I have better things to do with my time. Now listen, I wouldn't say this to you if I didn't mean it. 
be playing today. Uh, hello? Uh, got your ears on, good buddy? Oh, come on, how many be playing? You know, I've got all day. Just let me know when ye learns how to count. Arr, who needs ye? I got better things to do with me time. Like... Plundering. Fare thee well. Okay, welcome to You Don't Know Jack. What do you say we find out how close you three really are? Here you go, one screw for each of you. Don't crowd me, there's plenty to go around. All right, a word on the screws. If a question comes up and you know your neighbor's... Wow, you know, if I weren't such a secure individual, I might take that personally. I mean, it still hurts, but I got a job to do. Let's go! Player three, what looks good? We call this one... This little piggy bought orthopedic shoes. Two grand for this baby. Last one in is a rotten egg. If the little piggy that went to market develops a new player one, he's getting screwed. Oh, well, that's nice. You might want to get yourself a box of candy and a dozen roses because you're screwing yourself. Answer correctly and maybe you'll get a kiss goodnight. A bunion, or a swelling near or in a foot bone, usually occurs near the joint of the big toe, often pushing the first toe in towards the second toe. <laughs> of course, by this time, the little piggy who had roast beef usually loses his appetite. You know what? I don't care if he did get it right. You still screwed yourself, and now you're really screwed. <laughs> Player two, what looks good? Well, look what I found. You try shaving with a hook for a hand. And, well, let's see here. Apparently $26,606.06 will be yours if you get this one right. Oh, uh, there's that spooky, piratey, music-y thing again. You know, that pirate sure does sound sad, doesn't he? I sure hope he has a lady pirate in there with him. Hey, speaking of pirates. What was G Player One? Don't you think you're getting a little ahead of... Oh my god, that's crazy! That's a, how in the world did you know that? Someone must have teached you pretty good, cause you're right! <laughs> boy oh boy, you sure know your salty semen, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Hey, 
Hey, I wonder if this pirate that's been haunting me knew Blackbeard. Hey, hey, you pirate! Did you know Blackbeard? Hello? Ahoy! Player one, pick a category. Allow me to introduce... He wrote the Book of Love, and this one's worth two big ones. Well, looks like there's a cool front coming in. Check out this old book I found. The author's name is kind of rubbed off, but you should be able to identify his coolitude. Just listen to this table of contents. Chapter 1, Motorcycle Maintenance. Chapter 2, Picking Up Teenage Girls. Chapter 3, Leather Fetishes. Chapter 4, Milwaukee's Hot Spots. Chapter 5, Living in Garages. Chapter 6, Life in the 50s. Chapter 7, The Power of Cool. And Chapter 8, A. You got that? So here's the question. What TV? It's all yours, Player One. Arthur Fonzarelli, or The Fonz, is the fictional character from Happy Days who would have penned this masterpiece. <laughs> yep, nothing like good, wholesome family entertainment. A 30-year-old high school dropout cruising local high school hangouts trying to pick up teenage girls. <laughs> yeah, they don't make them like that anymore, do they? <laughs> Your turn to pick category, Player 3. I'm calling this one... Oh. God, not with my mom. This one can net you four grand. You know, nothing stirs up a TV show audience like a little Oedipus complex. Which of these figures would not be a guest on a talk show titled My Dad Thinks He's a God? Ganesha, Buddha, take a sh- <laughs> Player one, player three, grab it. No, Yezu Christie would make an appearance. I believe he was also on that show titled My Mama Thinks She's a Virgin and My Apostle is a Two Time and Rat. Ho, 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 ho. <coughs> Player three, t Buddha's parents were both mortal. <laughs> Which, you know, when you think about it, makes sense. I mean, if you had a god as your father, wouldn't you at least expect a good head of hair? <laughs> Player two, your choice. Hey, guess what I've got here? It's time for a... Liquid Mustang! Let's take a look at your category. No, I really meant cut the cheese. We're going to start this question out at $10,000. Okay, I'll be giving you a gibberish phrase. Simply buzz in when you know what it rhymes with. And by the way, I'll be taking away some cash every couple of seconds, so make it quick. All righty, do us both a favor and tell me what this rhymes with. Oh, f there you go, player... Th <laughs> you know, the old Schmitty would have let that bother him. But no, the new Schmitty just fucks with your score. <laughs> Does any... Let's see it, play... Uh, what the fuck? Come on, I thought we were done with this bullshit. Look, I can't kick you in the shins, so I guess I'm going to have to fuck with your score again. <laughs> Player one, you want to see what you got... Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm done with you. Uh, you are a fucker, and you obviously don't care about the game. You're not into the game for whatever reason. You know, oh, it's not fast enough, and there's too many words. And you're too fucking bad, okay? You knew what you were getting into when you started the fucking game. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we play a game that's more suited to your mentality, okay? Enjoy, fuckhead.